Okay, this leads me to the last thing I wanted to talk about today, and this is our developer program. Because if you, see, if you saw the presentation so far, you might think that Nextcloud is just a nice product. That's true, it's a nice product, but it's also a platform. So Nextcloud is also a platform where you can build on top of. And this is something that's very important because integrating with other software is absolutely super, super important here for us. And for that, I'm happy that today we are launch a new developer program to make this like easy, as easy as possible for everybody. So first of all, we have this new website um, called nextlaw.com slash developer. You can go there, you can link, see links to all the documentation of all different APIs. You have example code, you can create a new uh, plugin, there's a wizard for that. You can basically fill in a few IDs and you get already your, your, your basic app download and you can fill in your business logic and then you have a Nextcloud plugin and there's a way to talk with other developers on the forum and to get in contact with us if you want to do shared uh, marketing around your plugin. So there are lots of options where we want to help you to extend um, Nextcloud but also integrate Nextcloud into your other software. But that's something that's very important and this is important for um, for industry partners. So we work together with a lot of um, other organizations, projects, and companies. Only Office, of course, uh, Collabra, Moodle, RocketJet, now also IBM, and uh, NitroKey. There's something in, the, in, in your bag, so we work together with a lot of organizations, and there are many more, actually. Um, but this is not only for companies. This is also for our community. And as I mentioned, our community is just super important. So we have an app store of uh, over 200 extensions and apps, that a store is misleading, it's all free and open source, of course, but this is a place where everybody in the community can publish their extension. And this is something that's really important, and we hope that we have more and more of those apps thanks to this new developer program. And to push this forward, we did an app um, development contest lately, where we encourage people to write cool apps for Nextcloud, and I want to pass over, uh, um, hand over the thing to Nina to tell us more about this cool context that we did lately. Oh, Marinella, of course. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. So does this work? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, as Frank was saying, uh, we have a kind of a huge app ecosystem. Uh, as of today, it is like 200 apps mostly maintained and developed by community. So that actually means like, that still works, yeah. Uh, that, yeah, that, that means that like hundreds of people are contributing to develop apps in their free time. That's really awesome. Just like, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> So yeah, earlier this year, we decided to have like a friendly app contest so that people can showcase the new best apps that they really like to use. And uh, Marinella organized it. So thank you very much, Marinella, for organizing the, the app contest. <laughs> and, and yeah, uh, so we want to showcase today the five main apps that made it to, to, well, to the final contest. And the first one is uh, external storage drive. So basically, uh, maybe you use OneDrive, but you want to have the Nextcloud experience. And external storage uh, OneDrive helps you while well, having your OneDrive as an external storage, but still using like the Nextcloud apps. So this was like really cool for well Windows users. So then we have um, upload details. So basically it adds a bunch of uh, nerdy details to your upload. Maybe you're interested in like the remaining time or the speed uh, and you don't have that like in the regular download app. So that's really cool for people who want to track it like really seriously. <laughs> So the, the third one is quite useful for people who want to actually share uh, stuff online um, because uh, you can have um, a link to your Nextcloud files, but this one is really like uh, a path. So for instance, if you want to embed uh, an image in a tweet or on your blog, you can use the sharing path app and it works really well. And then we go to dashboard charts. Uh, so you have your next cloud, you have all your files in your next cloud, but the dashboard charts that uh, allows you to bring like the outside world 
to Nextcloud. Like you can just feed your Nextcloud with flows of data coming from well basically anywhere. Like you can maybe you can read like its carbon emissions uh, on the top. Uh, you have also like I don't know music or even your sensors at home. So that's really like a big overview of all the data which is of interest for you. And then we will have a look uh, at MAPS, uh, who, which actually won the app contest. So, well, first round of applause, please. <laughs> mm. And yeah, basically MAPS is uh, fitting the whole world into your next cloud. So you have maybe pictures of your travels. Uh, maybe you have like contacts uh, in, well, Germany, but also like in Europe and also in the rest of the world. You can show them and everything is, uh, you can, well, track your devices, track your travels. And everything is in your secure place and uh, private place for you to, you know, just play with it. And it actually also looks really nice, which is a huge plus. Um, so Marinella, maybe like you can tell us more about the developers that made the app. Uh, yeah. uh, Julie, Julian was the main developer that developed the app, but uh, sadly he couldn't be here today. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Julian couldn't be here today, but uh, all the app developers uh, of the Maps app are invited and welcome to join our future Nextcloud event, events like Nextcloud conference. Like the next cloud conference, okay, <laughs> sorry <laughs> again. Uh, they are welcome to join the next next cloud conference and all the other events like our hack weeks. Uh, also, uh, later this year, this uh, week, we will publish a blog, an article, an interview with Julian that explains how he got involved, uh, how he started developing the idea about maps. And uh, we are encouraging the new app developers that are still beginners to develop their own app for Nextcloud. So yeah, we hope to do it next year also. So if you have you know, an app idea, just come and chat with us. And well, I mean, great things can happen then. So back to Frank.